Our view from July series to August series has changed. In July, we have been recommending that uh, one should buy around 5500-5550 for an upside target of 5700 plus, and that has worked out uh, accordingly. But the view for August series is completely opposite. Now we are preferring sell on rise, and there are you know several reasons for that. First thing, despite 50 bips hike in interest rate. FIs have not sold anything uh, meaningful in cash market segment. The reason behind that is, in first week of August, we are expecting a lot of uh, events uh, to unfold globally, and which will decide their course of action whether to buy or sell. And we believe it will be more of selling which will happen, which will happen from FIs uh, in first half of August series. Apart from liquidity, even if we look at options data, range seems to be have shifted down. Uh, we are seeing now 5400 put. Uh, is very active and on the higher side 56 5700 calls are seeing good amount of writing in fact in uh, last trading session we have seen that even 5100 put has become active so first we are expecting a 100 point shift in uh, range on the downside and we won't be surprised that we have to revise uh, in august month of august the range further down so our advice is don't form long at current levels and trade with negative bias any Surprise on the upside, say till 5600, 5650 should be utilized to go short. From rollovers perspective, we have seen that the absolute futures open interest has slightly declined expiry to expiry. We are seeing more action in stocks. We are seeing more action in options. Stocks, if I look at banking, which has been you know in action since last uh, quite some time, Axis Bank has seen very less rollovers. The open interest has also declined significantly. Participants who had gone short in month of April and May in this stock with a medium term horizon have not opted to roll over these positions which suggests that this stock would be probably an outperformer. We are not saying you know you go ahead and buy the stock but if banking stock would fall if market falls this stock may not fall that much. In fact for shorting in banking we are liking HDFC. When I say liking I am saying liking to short the stock. We have seen huge rollover. Open interest has also increased and 700 to 715 is a resistance zone. Any bounce to those levels, we would suggest to go short. FMCG, we would suggest don't short now, buy on dips because this uncertainty is going to prevail and there would be a lot of liquidity which would again run for uh, cushion and hide behind FMCG and Pharma. So ITC, HUL remain buy on dip, 195 and 320 levels for buying respectively. One stock in FMCG. And consumer durables, one can see is Tata Global. The stock has significantly run up from 90 odd levels to current levels. Despite that, huge amount of long positions, high rollover, which clearly says that the stock is probably moving to 123, 125 odd levels. So be stock specific and sell on rise is the strategy which we are adopting at least for the first half of August series.